Hi, and thanks for watching another instructional video for CSEI 1300. In this video, I will talk about how to use GDB through the command line in order to debug your code. GDB stands for the GNU Debugger. You can use GDB to step through your code at a lower level in the registers and check for information as it is actually being processed line by line, similar to what you've seen with a visual debugger. In order to use GDB, I have a C++ file here called input validation that I'm going to be testing with GDB. And in order to use GDB on this file, what I will do is I will compile this file just as I would normally. I'm going to give it a name specifically called input so that it's not just going to be any a.out. And I'm also going to be adding a dash G command here, which is going to allow me to use GDB um, with a lot of different commands. So once I have my executable named and I have a dash G attached to the compile command, I'm then going to run that. And then I'm going to, instead of using a dot out, I'm going to say GDB and then the name of that executable. I'll then enter into the GNU, GNU GDB window. So this is associated with the executable file that was just generated for this piece of code. What I can now do is do several things. I can use a series of commands to access this information and I can step through it one line at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do, which is usually a good thing to learn how to do, is to set breakpoints. So I'm going to set a breakpoint at line seven by saying break and then the line number. This is going to tell me the hex value for that uh, line number and it's going to tell me which file it's accessing at what line. Um, in order to run the program now, I'm going to type run. It's going to start the program and it's going to tell me at one line in the file I am where this breakpoint was set. So we've jumped into the code and it stopped on line seven, similar to what we've seen before when we touch the red breakpoint icon. Now, if I wanted to print something inside of my code, I can do that by saying print in the name of a variable such as num. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna show me that it equals a value of zero here. Um, this can change as the, as the code goes along. So say I wanted to set another breakpoint. I'm going to do that at line nine. And I'm going to show you what it looks like if I start to disassemble this. So I'm going to say the word disassemble. And I can actually look at the code here at a lower level in the register. And this is going to show you the commands as they are being accessed in assembly code. So if you wanted to step through your, your entire file and check the exact um, different things that's going on, at the systems level, this is how you would do that. If you wanted to then say uh, quit, we can then see that if we type Q here, we've inf we've exited out of the disassembly window and we're back to our GDB exactly where we were before. So if I wanted to then move forward into the code, I would use the step command and it would show me that I'm here at line eight and I have moved into line eight. So if I do this again, and I now say the entire word, this symbol, um, I'm going to be able to see exactly where I am in the code through this arrow marker, which is represented here. And it's telling me that this is the instruction related to um, line eight in the program where I'm at. So if I step one more time, it's going to then ask me for that number. So this actually ex is actually being processed. So this is right before this line got processed. And now we're actually going to ask the user for that command. And say I enter a value of nine, which is in the correct range that I'm looking for. It's then going to then go to an evaluation statement if I then do disassess again, I'm going to see that I have now gone from this instruction down to this instruction through the pointer. So I've now moved a value into a register. 
Now, if I wanted to actually check that register, I could say I, info um, registers. And you could also say INFR for shorthand. And this would take you and it would show you the hex values of all the things inside of the code. Now, if I, if I did the same thing where I print num, I'm going to see that I have the value of 9 inside of num here. So these are just helpful ways that I can step through the program. So we can see here that we're now printing input accepted. And we can then say, um, do a jump to line 14. And we'll exit the code. In order to exit out of the GDB window, I'm going to type quit. And I'm back to my regular command prompt. So that's a little bit about how to get started with using GDB. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.